Hello, everybody. This is Gary. Today is Thursday, May 7th, 2020. It is presently 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States in Rochester, New York. And this is just an update on how I'm doing with my mental health and the coronavirus. Um, I'm getting out more often. The weather in Rochester, New York is starting to get better. Winter is pretty much over with. As far as I know, the last time it snowed was in late April. Um, I'm feeling a little bit agitated today, a little bit paranoid. Um, somewhat discombobulated, shaky hands, um, some paranoia, some hallucinations, um, some delusions, thinking people are following me or laughing at me or trying to hurt me in some fashion. Um, but that's all under control. I mean, those things are with me all the time, and it doesn't necessarily mean it's an emergency. I'm certainly not violent. I'm certainly not suicidal. I'm just agitated to the point where my hands are shaking and, uh, I kind of stutter in my speech. Um, I'm doing the best I can. My neighbors are very noisy. They yell and scream and swear and have parties. And I haven't complained about them yet, but I may if I have to. I don't want to have to call the police on them. They're just a bunch of young kids throwing parties, and I don't think they mean any harm. But they keep me up at night, and I have to get good sleep for my mental health. We all need to get good sleep for our mental health. That's essential. And if you don't sleep, for a few days, you may start to hallucinate. You may start to hallucinate. Um, and uh, if you don't sleep properly, that gets um, all kinds of anxiety and fear going and paranoia. Um, so sleeping well is important to your good mental health and coping with things like isolation and the coronavirus. My fucking neighbors are yelling and screaming right now. I don't know if you could hear that in the background, but to, anyways, I'm doing pretty good, I guess. I have nothing to complain about. I have money. I have food. I have a place to live. I have a roof over my head. I was able to pay all my bills this month with some money left over. Get over $1,200 a month in psychiatric disability from Social Security. Um, and I'm doing the best I can and coping with everything and just making do with what I have, because I know there are a lot of people out there who have a lot less than I do. And they're in worse situations than I'm in. People who have lost their businesses, lost their jobs, are on unemployment, are applying for government loans for their businesses. I'm wondering if their businesses are going to survive or not. I don't really deal with any of that directly, so I consider myself uh, lucky. And I have a great deal of gratitude for the things that I have. Um, a little bit difficult sometimes, maybe, but nothing earth-shattering. Um, but uh, the wind is starting to pick up outside. It's a little windy out. It's getting cloudy again. It might rain. But it doesn't matter. I already took my bike out today for a ride just to blow off some steam and to keep myself going mentally and physically. I'm still smoking heavily, um, so I'm exercising, but I haven't reduced or quit smoking yet. And I don't know when I'm going to be able to. I just don't feel up to it right now. Um, I'm chain smoking. And it's the one thing in my life that I've lost control over. And it's not the best thing in the world to be doing. Um, so I'm trying to exercise to keep my health up. But that's difficult to do with all my cigarette smoking going on. Um, so I don't know when I'll be able to quit smoking. Um, but uh, I guess that's all for now. Like, comment, share, subscribe, press the notification bell. That way you'll know when I get new videos. Because even if you're subscribed, if you don't press the notification bell, you may not know when I put out a new video. Um, and uh, so press the notification bell. And I don't ask for money to do these videos, but if you want to help me out, share my video on uh, social media whenever you can. And take care of yourselves and each other.